A paradigm shift in how our economies function is crucial to tackle climate risk and push towards net zero emissions. That is where Terry has an important role to play. Terry's industry charter for near zero ambition by 2050 talks of Indian industry coming together to achieve this ambitious target. It's a voluntary pledge and for that we all have to stand together, work together and achieve it together. What is required today is the roadmap for implementing technologies by various industry players. Sustainability is, is clearly to create that very positive economic, uh, environmental and uh, social impact, uh, which translates to a world with zero emissions, zero waste and zero inequality. First electrify and then decarbonize. I think we've got a, a good push and impetus by Government of India in terms of India Solar Alliance. But I think we need a similar big deal, so a similar deal in terms of similar push as uh, uh, you would normally call it towards uh, green hydrogen, uh, biofuels and uh, uh, fundamentally making sure that we can go to bio resources towards producing the energy needs of the world. The, the hydrogen roadmap of India is a fantastic starting point. Hydrogen is, is ultimately, we cannot just simply think of it as a direct replacement technology. We have to think about this as, as a technology that is going to yield its own sequences of opportunities and things that are going to be new and different. Major requirement would be, one, the collaboration. Second, certain government initiatives. And third one would be how the finance can be made available for many many such demonstration projects which are required not by only cement sector but globally the key buckets which we need to look at is agriculture msme and bottom of the pyramid consumers we have evolved a system which help farmer reduce their cost but at the, at the same time improve productivity and thereby you know at the end resulting into prosperity so you ensure sustainability you know carbon reduction but at the same time you must focus on as much or more to ensure that his income goes up and prosperity happens. We need innovation in finance. I think if MSMEs have to embrace the journey, finance is a very, very critical element in it. There, I think we need to look at a lot more banks and NBFC's participation with fintech solutions. We'll have to understand the value chain across multiple sectors, their adjacencies, and come up with solutions such that truly the circular economy, decarbonization, as well as the focus on green becomes a reality. I think that recycling and the circular economy will play a big role in reducing the carbon footprint. We are continuing to invest in products uh, in fact, accelerating our investment in products that are all related to climate change. But we will not touch anything which has got uh, any sort of hydrocarbons involved. Uh, we all are entering the decades of climate action. Uh, it will be crucial time for humanity. And uh, at Terry, this issue has uh, taken its rightful place at the center stage. Let us collaborate with few like-minded organizations and have advocacy activity that took see plan and may I for this purpose request all of our charter members that let us make a group of three or five CEOs and then who can work on it and then uh, take the matter forward. If you bring the players together right and kind of um, put them on a common network to kind of drive that forward that's also a possibility that we could explore. Extremely important that collaboration and co-creation working together is the need of the hour. I mean you know unless otherwise you don't do something today then I mean you know I don't think you know we can call ourselves pioneers uh, you know uh, for tomorrow or pioneers at heart for the good of generation. I invite Indian industry to come forward so that we all can come together and chart a low carbon pathway for the country and benefit not just our country but globe as a whole.